Hello everyone and welcome to our Road to Indian Glory career mode guys. Episode number 3, here we are, returning with Cricket Captain 2021 action guys. And today, we're going to be taking on Chennai at Mumbai. Chennai are currently sitting in last place on the table and we are sitting in 6th, looking pretty dicey at the moment. If we look at domestic players in the T20 over, Steve Smith is currently the orange cap holder. And would you believe it, Andre Russell was currently the purple cap holder with 10 wickets, an average of 8.5. And he still has a game in hand as well. One thing I did notice from our last game, guys, if you did not check out the last episode, I suggest you do so and also subscribe if you are not already. But last episode, we actually did do a super over, but it does not seem to have counted for any of the players' form, which is very good stuff to see because I guess it is just, after all, one over, and it's really hard to get any form, take any or get any form out of that one over. So nonetheless, we didn't lose or gain any form in that last over. Looking at this season's stats, a bit of an up and down season for a lot of players, and I think, but currently, Tripathi is really struggling early doors here at number three. So it's fair to say that we might have to bring in Karun Nair or Gurkarat Singh. Kind of thinking Karun Nair might be a go here. Try him today. And although I don't really want to make that change. So Chakravarti is sitting on the bench right now. He's a very good player. We all know he is in the IPL in real life or the Indian T20 League in this game. But unfortunately with the form of Kuldi Yadav, I don't really feel that we're going to need that option right now. The eyes turn to Pat Cummins, Nagakori, and especially to Aurora. So I think we're going to bring in Waria because last comp, he did take 7 wickets and average of 23 and economy 7.41. Not too bad. Marvi took... Oh, jeepers, he got absolutely hammered, Marvi. So I think Waria is kind of the go in this game here instead of uh, Aurora. We're definitely just trying to ring some changes in this tournament here because it's looking very dicey for us at the moment. I did see that Vinkatesh Ayer has crazy statistics. 36 with the bat and T20 cricket so far and 25 with the ball. And he looks like he can definitely hold the bat. So he definitely will get a go at some point. I just don't know when, but he is definitely on the cards to have a go. Now lower order is really struggling for some runs. So it's definitely going to be much needed in this game. Really hoping that they can step up today. Here we go. We're going to be taking on Chennai. We're going to make the one change. Nair comes in for Tripathi. Everyone else stays the same. Here we go. We've got Gaikwad. Pujara comes in. Suresh Raina, Duplessis, Ali, Jagadisan. Apologize if that's not how you say his name. I really don't quite know how to say it. Jagadisan, Dhoni, Sam Curran, Reddy, Kishore, Tahir. All right. We are going to call heads and we have won the toss once again. We're going to bowl first. Pat Cummins will bowl to Guy Quad and Pujara to begin things tonight. Here we go. Pat Cummins to Pujara. And that is a great shot from Pujara, who picks that up nicely for six. Nagakoti to Guy Quad. That is a great shot for four, though. And bowled him. Nagakoti strikes back, and Guy Quad has to depart for six of four. Suresh Reiner to the crease early. He's edged it high, but I reckon that is a massive, massive six. And I think it is a six, but it's actually called four. Off the back foot there from Pujara. That's a great shot. That will be four. Cummins into his second to Reiner. That's outside leg. Cummins to Pujara. That's a good shot off the back foot. And nudged away for four more. Nagakoti into his second. And that is a poor delivery. And that will be a... I was going to say a six, but it's actually only a four. Another poor delivery. Pulled away for four more. Not really doing very well to back up our first couple of overs there. Warrior into the attack early doors here. Let's see how he goes under a bit of a pressure. He's got right, has he? No, it was a no ball anyway. And he's dropped anyway. So actually not too bad for that drop catch, really. It was actually made up in the end because of the no ball. But I, not ideal, but still a good over though. Andre Russell with the purple cap right now to Sirish Reiner. And he's gone playing and missing. Well bowled. End of the fielding restrictions. 52 for 1. Very good stuff for Chennai, but not without a couple of scares, that's for sure. Cool Deep Yadav into the attack now. Bowling to Reiner. Oh, I thought for sure he was going to get cleaned up there. But he swept that away fine. Nicely for 4. Oh, I'm playing a miss. Very good stuff from Cool Deep Yadav. Can you finish the other well? Oh, it's an edge in the gap. It's probably going to be 2, is it? 
Yeah. Edges the way for two. That's Bob Ald. Desperately looking for a wicket here. Andre Russell to Pujara. Oh, that was pretty nice on the stumps, but hit away very nicely. For six from Pujara. 74 for one. Kordi Bialov to Pujara now. That's just playing a miss. 77 for one for Chennai. A good start from them so far. And things have not really changed too much. Waria now into the attack. Let's see what this kid is made of. Here we go, Waria. It's outside the line. Wobbled to Rainer. Oh, I was going to say that nearly knocked him over. That is four. Good over apart from that boundary there. 40s each for these two at the moment. Kordi Yadov. Can he make something happen? Oh, it's a great shot. It beats point. It'll be four as well. Edged and gone. Yes, there you go. Ryan has gone for 41 of 34. Cut it with the catch. Kuri Yadav strikes with the big wicket. Duplicy to the crease. How will Faf handle the left arm wrist spinner? He will sweep that away for four. Fair enough. We will actually bring Sunil Narayan into the piece here because I did actually forget about him momentarily. But not long enough to keep him out of the action. That is a fantastic over though. Tell you what. Take six singles every day of the week. Doesn't matter what over. I would take them all. That is a good shot. Off the back foot. That will be 54 Pujara. Can Kuldeep Yada finish his spell well? No, oh, it beats point. It'll be four. That's his spell. One for 34. It's not too bad. It's not too great though. But he did pick up a wicket, which is always much appreciated. Faf drives, and it will beat point for four more. Well, we've used enough spinovers tonight. 122 for two is not very good, though. It's fair to say. Oh, dear. That is a horrible delivery from Andre Russell. It really is. Three twos in a row, but he gets him. Faf gone for 28 off 15. Moen Alley. Moeen Ali to the crease. We know he's actually good at striking the ball because he's actually got a very good strike rate this season. I think he's the highest strike rate. Actually, might even be the highest average this season. There you go. He scored 87 runs this season without getting, dis or getting dismissed just the once. So he's extremely good. How will he cope, though, tonight? We'll see how he copes against Sunil Narine. Oh, very well. Hits it just past backward point for four. Narine to Pujara, who's been the rock of their batting lineup today. And again through the cover region for four more. Andre Russell just not been on it tonight. Bolden, though. He's finally got Pujara. Jags on back. And Pujara is gone for 65 of 42. A big wicket. 50 for four. Oh, he's driven straight past Russell, though. Moen Ali gets a boundary. Pat Cummins now to Moen Ali. That is hit straight, though, and it'll be four more. He's into good form at the moment. That's well bold, though. Oh, that's well bold again. Let's see what Warrior's made of here. He's got the really tough job. Let's see how he goes. Warrior to Jagad... Jagadisan? Jagadisan? That's four more. Two boundaries in a row. Pulled away for six. And driven away for four more. So he has failed his first test. Pat Cummins to Jagger Deshan now. Cummins to Moen Ali. And it's a swing and a miss. Another swing and a miss. In, edged in the air. Should be taken. Miscued. Back for drive and he's gone. For 21 of 16, Nakakoti takes the catch. Pat Cummins with the all-important wicket. MS Doney to the crease now. And has nearly gone first delivery. That ends the innings though, 187 for 5. A very good innings from Chennai, and not a very good innings from Kolkata, it has to be said. 12s for Waria, 13s for Nakakoti, even Russell went at 9s, and Sunil Narayan as well. Kuri Yadov and Pat Cummins, the shining lights tonight. But it's going to require a massive batting effort here tonight if we're going to get across the line. Harishanka Reddy. Harishanka Reddy is going to trundle in here, the medium bowler. Gill cuts that away nicely for four to get Kolkata underway. But he's gone. He tries to repeat thing and he is gone. Caught at slip. Karunir comes in for his first delivery of the season. Ready now. That's a play and a miss. Five off the first. Sam Curran to bowl the other end. 9.6 needed per over. Narine off the back foot for four. Edged and past the slip for four more. Take all the luck you can get in T20 cricket. Karunir, that drives away. That'll be four. Good shot. Ready to Narine. 
Edged in the air, should be taken. Is there a fielder underneath it? No, it's gone for four. Sitting on the right, skies it, but Midoff cannot run around to collect it. 9.5, Perova still needed. He comes around, does Curran, but he's whipped away by Nair. And it will be four. Curran Nair cuts that away for six. That is a mile back. What a shot. Imran Tahir in the power play. Very interesting move by Chennai and MS Dhoni there. And it's paid dividends. Suresh Reiner takes a great catch. Curran Nair gone for 18 off 12. Natish Rana now to the crease. Maui Nelly in the power play as well. And that's worked as well. Rana's gone for one. Fielding restrictions have now ended 48 for three. We're actually only three runs behind where Chennai were, but we've lost two extra wickets, which is the real killer for us tonight. Narayan has a lot of work to do, considering he really should be the person who's first out, not the person who's fourth out. And this could be a maiden as well. And it could be a wicket made, and it is. Oh, my lord. You wouldn't believe it. Soon on the right, has gone for 21 off 21. And, I mean, it's just a shocker, really. I don't know what we're going to do now. It's three off the over. Like, what are you supposed to do? Imran Tahir's got 10 dots, two for two. To Russell, who's completely out of form. I don't really know, to be honest. 129 needed in the last 10 overs, so we're going to need 12.9 for the rest of the match. And that is down leg, and that is dreadful. Kishore. To Owen Morgan. Gonna need a lot tonight. And Morgan hits that away for four. We need some more intent like that. I mean, we just haven't seen enough of it tonight. And when we have, it's got us out dismissed. So, Kishore to Russell. Off the back foot. Oh, Lord, he could be run out here. Oh, my goodness, he's just in. You wouldn't believe it. Oh, my Lord. Owen Morgan... Chops that behind well, behind square leg, but he gets four. And now drives down the ground for four. Okay. Well, we've got, like, 14 off the over so far. Oh, my goodness me. Morgan is the luckiest cat alive at the moment. Jeepers. That's, what, 18 off the over? Two edges for four there, too. Moen Ali to Russell, who sweeps that away for four. Moen Ali again to Andre Russell. And he's tried a big heave over, but missed it. Oh, now to Russell. Full toss, or tossed up. He's edged it, and he's gone. Not edged it, he's kind of just mistimed it, and he's dismissed. Dinesh Kartik, 84 for 5 for Kolkata. And that is 4. What a shot from Dinesh Kartik. Not going to lie, that's a great shot. Kishore to Morgan now. 88 for 5. There's a swing and a miss. Kishore to Morgan again. Tossed up. Off the back foot, good shot from Morgan. That'll be 4. 92 for 5. Hits the stumps, but it's actually going down the leg side. Lost up again. He plays across the line again. Cannot make contact. And dabs that away. It'll be four more. Okay, Morgan's playing so aggressively, but it's paying off somewhat. That's a no ball, and it's four more. Free hit. 100 up. And he's edged it away. Fair enough. Ready returns to the attack. One for 15 in his two others. 14s per over needed at this point. Ready. To bowl to Morgan here. 102 for 5. Down through mid-wicket. That'll be 4. Ready again to Morgan. Tossed up. Or pitched up, sorry. Pitched up and he smacked it. Down the ground for 4. Ready to Morgan again. Now past cover. And that will be his 50, I believe. Owen oh, Morgan reaches a 50. He's the lone hand at the moment. Ready to Morgan. Cut away. Massive 6. Okay. 70 required off 30 balls. Very unlikely to happen, but they keep bowling Kishore, who's going at 16s at the moment. Although he gets just one off the first three deliveries. Morgan hits it away for four, though. 123 for five. Morgan sweeps that for six. What a shot. Kishore to Morgan at full toss again. Six more. This is unreal batting. 53 from 24 to strike rate of 220 is not impossible anymore. What is that? 53 from the last four is like 12s? I think that's about 12.5 per over. Sam Curran to Kartik. Oh, he's hit a six first delivery. That should be gone though. It's over though. He's edged it over. It's four. Edged in the air. This should be taken by deep mid wicket though, and it is. Kartik's gone for 17 off 11. And Pat Cummins now strides to the crease. 40 of 18. Kishore has gone for 49 and 3 overs. Pat Cummins. 
Swings and misses it though. It's an unlikely chance for victory. Shouldn't happen. But can Owen Morgan pull off a blinder? Uh, not with that sort of batting, no. Jeepers. Now Kishore has bowled an absolute over and a half here. And has got Pat Cummins caught and bowled. And that is the match now. We need, what is that? I don't even know. It's like 19 and over. 19 off the last two overs needed to win this match. Morgan has all the hopes pinned on him. He's edged it though. He should be taken. The man comes round and drops it. Would you believe it? Oh, Lord. Okay. Well, that is three runs. Nagakotti now. Edges it in the gap. Should be out, though. And he's gone. I thought it was in the gap, but not to be straight to mid-wicket. Kuri Yadav to the crease now. At this point, oh, Morgan needs to just swing from the hip. He needs to stay on strike. Oh, Lord. Would you believe it? It's four. Kuri Yadav inside edges it. Hits it away for four more. Hello. Oh! Another four. Oh, no way. It's a six. It's a six. What? This is unreal batting. Kolkata, from nowhere, have found themselves in a winnable position. I'm not going to say winning position, because that's completely false. 17 needed from six deliveries. What can Mo Owen Morgan do? Can he pull this off? Can he really pull this off? That's four. 13 from five. And I tell you what, we'll take a super over from here. And he's gone, though. Raria to the crease. Really just has to get... Kuldeep Yadav on strike, but he can't. And so he's got to hit every every ball for a six. Kuldeep Yadav needs to hit every ball for a six. Shouldn't happen. No, edged away. It's the game. Kolkata lose against Chennai. That is a great shot from Kuldeep Yadav, and it's gone for six as well. We lose by just five runs in what is... Ex I mean, this is crazy scenes, guys. Absolutely crazy that we even got that close. Imran Tahir... And Ram Tahir bowls four overs, 17 dots, two for seven. Oh my lord. And Kishore, first game of the season, gets pumped for 51. Takes one wicket, gets Pat Cummins out and takes the catch of Nagakoti. Concedes 51 though. Current 59. Ready, 10.5. Mo and Ali, Imran Tahir, what the heck? That's eight overs, four for 29 between them. But otherwise, crazy stuff. Okay, looking at the partnerships. That was crazy, guys. 63 between Owen Morgan and Kartik there. 36 for Narayanan Nair. 22 for Morgan and Kuldeep Yadav. Kuldeep Yadav has turned out to be a sensation for us this season, guys. Pujara is named the player of the match. Owen Morgan, well, nearly probably should have got the player of the match in defeat, really. He got 81 of 41. Single-handedly got Kolkata to a winning ish position to a possibility of a win in this game after being completely outplayed really for most of the match. Nonetheless it does not help that we are now in seventh position. Chennai have now equaled us on points. They're still very much on the bottom for a good reason too. They truly bet us because two players or two or three players turned up tonight but we do actually have the achievement unlocked now half century because Owen Morgan passed 50 and in fact made 81 while well, played to Owen Morgan. I wonder if that's Owen Morgan's best score. That is indeed Owen Morgan's best score for Kolkata in 44 matches and 40 innings. Four half centuries, but none bigger than his 81 tonight. He finally came to the party and it was much very welcomed indeed, that is for sure. Looking at the league, we can now see that Steve Smith is still the top run scorer, holds the orange cap with 156 runs, but Owen Morgan, 131 at an average of 65, has come good for Kolkata in the last couple of matches. 165 strike rate as well. Amazing stuff from Owen Morgan. And the wickets, it still belongs to Russell with 12 wickets. He keeps the purple cap, but he is indeed conceding an economy of over 8 now per over. Very expensive stuff. And an unfortunate injury has actually hit the team as well. Karunair is out for five weeks with a hamstring injury after he just got a decent knock of 18 off 12 as well. He is unfortunately gone. So we're going to have to find a new number three in the next episode, guys. But that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. If you did enjoy, then please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias down below, especially on Twitter. I tweet out a lot. And join my Discord server to receive exclusive updates for when all my videos go live. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below in the comment section below, guys. Anything at all to do with this series in general, guys. How do you think we are tracking on? 
Do you think we should make any changes and which changes do you think we should make? How can we better do our tactics for the team and anything else at all guys? Let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next episode of this exciting series guys. Goodbye for now. I've just noticed the devastating news that Pat Cummins is out for three weeks with a broken finger. So that is really going to hurt our chances in this tournament, guys. He was our main bowler to turn to. Just looking at his stats, he was actually averaging 21 three wickets in economy of seven, our most economical bowler around. And he is out for three weeks. So injuries have really hampered the Kolkata Knight Riders ahead of our next match against the Rajasthan Royals in Mumbai. But guys... We're going to have to make do. See you in the next episode, guys. Goodbye for now.